This is the Leatherman Wave. One of the things that I really believe exemplifies great design is when you can reduce something to its least number of pieces and parts. And for me, the Wave exemplifies all those things because the knife blade attaches to the same axle as the jaw. And the space that stows the knife blade and protects the user from the sharp edge of it also becomes the rounded edge that provides the handle comfort. The original specification for the Wave was handle comfort and easy access to the knife blade so that when you open it and use it, you can squeeze on it and cut and bend things with it all day long. And then the idea of the tools being easily accessible was, was introduced in the Wave by creating a design so that you could open the tool and close the tool with one hand. Tim, as my boss, was always pushing on me to improve the performance of the original Pocket Survival Tool. And my very first prototype actually was a Pocket Survival Tool where I took a Dremel tool and a bench grinder to it and I ground away holes in the handle that would simulate where the locking mechanism was going to be in my mind. The most difficult part to solve actually was the file. And we actually ended up inventing, really inventing a new manufacturing process for files because before this, files were made by chiseling the teeth in. And in the case of the Wave, we didn't have that opportunity because the semi-pierce was in the Wave, prevented them from going between rollers, prevented them from going between metal plates for heat treating. And so we designed a whole new manufacturing process whereby we grind the teeth in. And I remember going to the SHOT Show uh, in January still not and showing it to customers and taking orders for the product, still not knowing how we were going to make the file. And so it was, it was a, uh, probably a few Hail Mary lobs to go, okay, let's go find some new manufacturing processes to make this. My backup plan was always that I was going to make it the old way and then bend them straight if I had to. You know, Leatherman Tools had always had an eyeglass screwdriver, and the Wave would have one as well. But it's also been one of our highest warranty return items, and it's because people aren't using them to turn eyeglass screwdrivers. They're using them to poke holes and stuff, poke holes in sheetrock, picket boxes, picket slivers. Who knows what they do with it? Honestly, by reverse engineering some of the things that went wrong with those things, you can call those customers and ask them what they were doing and if they're willing to admit it. Sometimes they won't admit it because they think that it's going to affect their warranty, but it doesn't. We really just want to learn from it. So when we uh, launched the Wave, we actually added a medium screwdriver, <laughs> which is, again, the medium screwdriver is a name we made up, of course. We used to have a small, medium, and large, and we made a size in between that would be more suitable, for, hopefully, for all those things people were abusing the eyeglass screwdriver for. The original Pocket Survival Tool was the, was the tool that invented the category and from which we learned so much, but the Wave has now become not only the best-selling multi-purpose tool for Leatherman, but the best-selling multi-tool of all time.